Hi Kevon, this is Norm from Schaefer Chevrolet here with our 2014 Chevrolet Traverse. Uh, black granite metallic. We have the ebony interior. Um, this is not an LTZ, uh, but I did want to send one out to you just so you could see what we have um, as far as, you know, just seeing the car itself. Uh, power everything, windows, mirrors, locks, including your seat there. Like I said, we have the ebony cloth interior. We can go ahead and slide in. A couple things you'll notice. Looking up here, we have our, our lights there. Universal home remote for your garage. OnStar capabilities right up there. We go down, we have some uh, center console storage there. Uh, USB port inside. I take her down. Screen radio here. With your CD player, of course. Um, as well as right over here, our auxiliary port. Um, then we have our buttons right down here that if you have not seen what this does, we'll take a look and you'll see it go through different things on your vehicle, different uh, monitors to show what's going on. Um, the other button does the same through different like tire pressure. So that's these two buttons right here. And then these ones are just for like through the different options, selecting and, and going through the different options. Um, but you look here, of course, our climate controls, rear climate control, uh, that's just to circulate. This one happens to have the heated cloth seats, which is always a really nice feature. Uh, trailer mode, traction control, stability track, turn that on and off, and then your rear wiper there. And then right here we have our shifter. You can do manual shifting. Little storage down here. Charger, of course, there. You got this nice looking wood grain. Cup holders. This is pretty neat. You know, uh, this slides back and forth, so if it's comfortable here, or maybe it's comfortable back there for you. Uh, but you can also get into here a little bit easier with it all the way back. You open that up, you reveal some more storage down there. Bring that forward, press that button, get some more there too. Take a look at our steering wheel controls here. This will be for like your Bluetooth capabilities, hands-free talking, uh, going through different radio stations as well. Right over here would be for your cruise, of course, uh, turning it on, off, uh, setting and resuming. We have our blinkers. And then right there also will be for your windshield wipers. Light settings. Let's hop out. Just really look, take a look at all the space uh, that's in these things. Uh, all the seats are fold down. So you have a ton of space there too. Right over here we have our rear um, climate controls for your passengers back here and some USB ports there as well. But we could take this, pull that down, reveal a little center console with some cup holders, some space. Uh, but like I said, you can always just pull that down, get to the back seat. Now I, I'm starting to see this come more and more standard. Uh, rear backup sensors along the way there is another one and another one in the rear backup camera. But if we open this up, see all the space back here? Let me move this out of our way. We've got some space in there though. Like I said, you can always just fold that down. So you take a step back and look. Just a ton of space in these things. It's a little snowy in this neck of the woods today, so I do apologize for that. Tried to get her as cleaned off as possible. Uh, but overall, nice car. We'll take a look. The last thing I wanted to see, if we could see it. Right over here. For this type of vehicle, you're still getting pretty good fuel economy. 19 overall, 17 city, 24 highway. Of course, with the all-wheel drive, it's going to be a little bit, uh, little bit different there. 
But otherwise, great safety ratings on this. Nice looking car, a lot of space. You can reach us at 989-879-2211 or find me right here in the middle of Pink Conning. Thank you for watching.